Hi. I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. Uh, I know. We heard Miss Stephanie's white corpuscles were battling for the supremacy of her lovely innards. <laughs> that's, that's the scuttlebutt. So we're here to cheer her up. Hey, ain't that one of those Vita Awards? Yes, yes it is. You didn't get that for your show. <laughs> no. Bless you, Miss Stephanie. Daryl? The lady just sneezed. Well, that's okay. Miss Stephanie, we'd rather slow dance with a cranky grizzly than see you laid up like this. That's why we're gonna do for you what our daddy done for us when we was feeling poorly. <laughs> a puppet show. Is there any other way to cheer up a sick room? <laughs> Hi. I thought I'd uh, stop in to see if you needed anything brought to you or taken away. <laughs> Not now, Dick. They're about to do a puppet show. Ah. <laughs> Once upon a time in the kingdom of ants, there was a beautiful princess who had a cold. <laughs> Nearby lived a fine young ant who loved the princess. And the princess, if truth be told, had eyes for him. About 12 of them. <laughs> but her father, the king, said, Hold on. You can't marry my daughter until you rid the kingdom of this big eyesore of a rubber tree. At first, the ant was afraid to even try, for he knew he did not have a spine like the higher vertebrates. But the princess was such a looker that he decided to give it a shake anyway. <laughs> Hit it, Daryl. Just what makes that little old ant think he'll move that rubber tree plant? Anyone knows an ant can Move the rubber tree plant, but he's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie in the sky. Hope so. Anytime you're getting low, instead of letting go, just remember that ant. Oops, there goes another rubber tree. Oops, there goes another. Oops, there goes another rubber tree plant. Hi, I'm Larry, and this is my brother, Daryl. What about your other brother, Daryl? I'm sorry, he's too upset to participate in this conversation. <laughs> We'd like to take this up with the spouse of the house. Uh, Dick? Right away? Oh. Hi, guys. Easy, Daryl. <laughs> what, what's the matter? Daryl ain't been the same since he heard that Pirate Pete got the proverbial axe. <laughs> it's his favorite program next to Nightline. Uh, uh, guys, before you get too worked up, I, I talked the station into putting Pirate Pete back on. I'm going to co-host with him today and show him how to do it right. Well, Daryl's adopting a wait-and-see attitude. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> if you don't mind some constructive criticism, we could tell it was you talking for Perch. This is my brother, Daryl, and this is my other brother, Daryl. Hi. Hi, guys. What's, uh, what's up? We're returning your chainsaw. Oh, thanks. <laughs> where, where is it? Oh, dear. We must have left it at the cafe. Daryl? 
And don't be playing, let's see if it'll cut this on the way back. I got a confession to make. I just wanted to get rid of Daryl so we could be alone. Uh, wh why? I'm going back to school. Oh. I'm probably not as educated as you think I am. <laughs> Truth is, I quit high school prematurely before I ever got in. <laughs> I was afraid I wasn't high school material. What, what changed your mind? Earl. Who's, who's Earl? A contestant on Jeopardy. <laughs> he lost big, he changed my life. How? Well, I would have creamed him by three points. That inspired me to sign up for this high school equivalency refresher course. The test is in two weeks. Well, uh, mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> what, what, what do you want me to do? Cover for me with my brothers. I don't want them to know I'm in school. Well, I, I think they'd be proud of you. You'd be wrong. <laughs> they kind of frown on higher education. Like when I drew Tippy the Turtle to try to get in that Sendaway art school. <laughs> they call me uppity. <laughs> You've never been on the business end of their biting sarcasm. Well, maybe a couple of times. Well, if, uh, if the Daryls come around, I'll tell them uh, you're working on a project for me. Ooh, you're slick. <laughs> now watch out. Daryl can pry the truth out of a stone. Did you get the chainsaw? Did you look everywhere? Well, where in tarnish? Well, I'll be. I had it here all along. <laughs> what to tell you? Already the zingers are flying. <laughs> Hi, hi guys. You're, uh, you're probably, probably looking for Larry. Uh, as, as he may have mentioned to you, he's, uh, he's working on a, a project for me. Well, 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 he is. It's, uh, it's, it's for a book. Um, as, as you know, I'm, I'm a writer. Well, well, I, well, I am. I'm, I'm doing, uh, doing a book on UFOs in New England, and uh, I hired, hired Larry to, to photograph the, uh, the UFOs. They, uh, they come out at night. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. between eight and ten. <laughs> you're, you're probably probably uh, wondering why I didn't didn't ask you two to to help out. Um, that's that's because you you uh, you UF, UFOs are uh, are terrified of trios. Hi, hi guys. What's uh, what, what's up? UFOs and you. <laughs> what, what about it? UFOs have been spotted by as few as one, and as many as ten thousand persons. Ah, and and I said they were afraid of trios. <laughs> well, th they are. It's only that magic number three that that spooks them. <laughs> This family of three <laughs> was taken for a ride on a UFO. <laughs> but you can't count the baby, it has to, has to be three adults. <laughs> three angry steel workers. <laughs> well, not steel workers. Oh, okay, he's going to night school, okay? <laughs> Psst. 
Were they trying to determine my nocturnal whereabouts? Yeah. Well, I really want to thank you more than ever for keeping my secret. Because if they knew what happened last night, they'd be on me like drool on a baby. <laughs> what, what happened last night? I quit school. UFOs are afraid of trios? Is that the best you could come up with? Yeah. Well, don't feel too bad. Those two could get Rambo to babble. L Larry, what happened last night? Why would you quit school? Well, it started off good enough. I was surprised and delighted to find a piece of complimentary gum under my seat. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at me. So I hightailed it. I can get that kind of treatment from Daryl. But that, that's no reason to quit. On top of that, I didn't understand the lesson. It's clear to me my brain don't take up the full space my head has allowed. Larry, su suppose I tutor you. No way, not if that means what I think it does. It, it means I'll help you study and, and get that high school diploma. Oh, okay. The Earth is made up of seven continents. Europe, Antarctica, Asia, Africa, Australia, North America, and South America. How am I going to cram all this into one temporal lobe? <laughs> That's why you're lucky I'm here. When, when I was a kid, I came up with a little trick. Eat an aspirin after a nighttime snack. <laughs> I, I, I can explain. Dick, is this a good time to sand, stain, varnish, and wax the floor? <laughs> no, George. Well, I guess I'll go wallpaper the bathroom then. Stupid, stupid maple leaf. <laughs> Larry, it's, it's the initials. Each letter stands for a continent. Europe. Antarctica, Asia, Africa, Australia, North America, South America. Do you suppose Miss Joanna would be free to tutor me? <laughs> La Larry, give it a chance. Daryl, what are you doing here? My lunch. Thanks. Mmm, <laughs> smell. All right, get out. You had your fun. <laughs> what, what is it? Turtle soup. An obvious reference to the tippy incident. <laughs> Larry, how'd you do? Well, the teacher did say he's grading on the curve, but since I answered zero out of a hundred, I expect to wind up close to the bottom. <laughs> At least on Jeopardy, I would have come home with some lovely parting gifts. You, you failed, but, but you knew the material when we talked it through. Yeah, doing it that way seemed to come as natural as stuff between your toes. <laughs> but when I tried to write, none of that knowledge made it to my pencil. Come on, I want to talk to your teacher. All right. There are you. You wait, wait here. Hi, I'm, I'm Dick Loudon. Paul Steuben. I'd, I'd like to talk to you about, about Larry's tests. I'm, I'm his tutor. Oh, really? Oh, you did a good job. <laughs> I, I wonder if you'd consider uh, giving him another chance. He, he knows the material. We, we went over it rather conversationally, and that comes as natural to him as stuff between your... <laughs> it, come, it comes real natural to him. I'm sorry, I can't test them twice. We have rules. Well, sometimes you have to bend the rules for, for special students. T uh, take, take Einstein. <laughs> Just a moment. Are you comparing Larry with Einstein? Well, I, I wouldn't want Larry working with subatomic particles. But... <laughs> I mean, Einstein didn't fit into the educational system, and neither does Larry. You claim he knows the material? Hey, I'm, I'm his tutor. <laughs> All right, I'll retest. Could, could you make it sound like Jeopardy? 
Oh, what the heck. It'll be a great story for the teacher's lounge. Larry, come on down. <laughs> okay, Larry, I'm going to retest you orally. I'll give you the answer. Oh, that... like Jeopardy. I'll take four scratches for a hundred. <laughs> uh, this is my classroom. I'll pick the categories. American history, geography, mathematics, science, and literature. I'll take American history for 200, Paul. <laughs> All right, uh, American history for 200. <laughs> Event commemorated every December 7th. What is 18 shopping days until Christmas? <laughs> uh, no, no, I was talking about the attack on Pearl Harbor. What is the cotton gin? Correct for 500. <laughs> All right, let's recap. So far, Larry, you have a borderline D average. You get the next one right, you'll have a C minus. But if you miss, we're going to have to send you home empty-handed. Are you ready, Larry? Ready, Paul. <laughs> the category is science for 500. Here is your answer. Three things that plants and animals can do that non-living things cannot. What is going from here to there? Movement, that's correct. <laughs> what is chowing down? Nourish themselves, correct. One more, Larry. What is partying? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. The correct question is, what is reproduction? I said partying. <laughs> I'm sorry, Larry, but your final grade is an F. But we thank you for coming. You've been a good sport. Goodbye and good luck. Wait, wait. Uh, what, what, what about uh, Final Jeopardy? <laughs> Final Jeopardy? <laughs> yeah. That's where I can turn an F into a diploma by betting the whole ball of wax on one question. He can? <laughs> Look, we, we didn't make up these rules. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the category is um, geography. Ooh. All right, Larry. For a D and a high school equivalency diploma, your answer is... The names of the seven continents of the world. Oh, wait, I know this one. Uh, take an aspirin, chew a pill. It ain't coming. Well, this ain't like Final Jeopardy at all. <laughs> All right, eat a peel, starve a fever. Hi, hi. Kid Larry, how'd you go? Hi, I'm Larry, high school graduate. Congratulations. Thanks. Sorry I couldn't remember them seven continents your way. I can only seem to learn them in descending order of gross national product. <laughs> Daryl, I won't keep you two hanging on meat hooks. I passed. <laughs> nice to know you fellows have so much confidence in me. But what if I'd have failed? <laughs>